How do you guitar aficionados around the world? It's Jay Boone down here with another pick of the day. My pick of the day today is just this incredible 1956 Fender Stratocaster. It's just a wonderful example of a very early 1956 Stratocaster. So you can see the two-tone sunburst, amazing finish checking on this guitar. It's just a super vibey look to it, man. You can see the wear on that maple neck where a player has lovingly played this guitar for many, many years. Cool thing is, he played the whole neck. Really a beautiful piece of ash. It's a little bit on the heavy side. It's seven pounds, 15 ounces, but it is really, really resonant, as you'll hear on this demo that Aaron Hebert's gonna do for us a little later. So this guitar has been kept in original condition but like most guitars that have been played from this era, it has been refretted and it has a new nut. In the case here, I do have the original frets and the original nut, which is always cool to keep when you have a vintage guitar like this. And then I have the original back plate and trem arm in there as well. So in this case, still the original plastics on this guitar, you can see where these have deteriorated somewhat like these old ones in the the first run of strats did. He has put a couple little pieces of tape on there just because this guy was playing this guitar a lot and he didn't want to do any more damage where the, the end of that pickup cover sticks out uh, by that high E string. But man, just incredible guitar. You can see the single ply guard, the original three-way switch, just a beautiful maple neck, the original single line Cluson tuners on there. This is set up with the five springs which to me is a really cool thing. From what I understand, Hendrix used to do that. And Hendrix used to actually find springs that were all in the same key when he put them on there and, and plucked them, which is something I would have never thought of. But it really makes for a lot of sustain and resonance on a guitar with all those springs in there. This is just the kind of strat we like to see. A, a guitar that's been kept in original condition yet yeah, it's one of the best playing, best sounding strats that we have in the shop right now. Not a lot more to say about this thing. It's all there, it's ready to go. There are no excuses on this guitar. And like I said earlier, we're gonna have Aaron Hebert do a demo on this. Aaron's a great player and he's especially shines on Stratocasters. We're gonna be playing this today through the new Magnetone Twilighter. It's a 112 combo that we featured before in some videos. We dig the sound of it. Just a great remake of a really cool retro amp. Uh, we're a dealer for the new Magnetone amps. We're really proud to have them in the shop and we love them, man. So this is gonna sound really awesome through that. So I'm gonna hand this thing over to Aaron and let him work his magic on it.
So there you have it, folks. My pick of the day, an original early 1956 Fender Stratocaster and a really good one playing through a new Magnetone Twilighter 112 combo. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.